Good morning, and God bless you. It's great to gather in God's Word as God's people. Let's begin this time together in prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for a day, a time that is set aside from everything else. Lord, there's lots that we make our lives about, especially in this time of the year. We make our lives about stuff, about getting things, about getting things done. But Lord, not often enough are we checking to see what it is that we can do that will honor you. What celebrations cause you to celebrate? So Lord, this morning, today, we pause. And all that we can be about today, we know that we need to be about your work. Sharing your message. Listening to the word that you've been given. You've been giving us for a long time. And so, Lord, we ask for open ears, open hearts, open minds, and an understanding of your truth. Lord, this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, the reading is from Malachi. Reading chapter 3 at verse 1. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come into his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight. Behold, he shall come, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Are there any messengers that we delight in? In this time of year, there's one messenger that always comes to mind. The messenger that prepares the way. Oh, I know, you all jump to the same answer. John the Baptist, the messenger of the Christ. And yeah, he does come to mind. A great messenger and one whom Jesus celebrates. But there's one in our day and age that has been much maligned. A messenger that, well... I think has been not only taken for granted, but ironically taken for a ride. But I think we should take him back. That messenger's a dear friend of mine. And he wears a funny outfit. And he eats funny clothes. And he's a messenger in which so many people delight. And he's a dear friend. And he loves the downtrodden. Some say he's make-believe. Some say he's just a historic figure. But I think it's a character that we can, in part of the celebration, in a good way that honors Christ, take on the character of one who celebrates Christmas. Have a merry Christmas. Have a happy Christmas. That's something as we look into this Christmas season and this winter, this year, in whatever outfit it takes, in whatever, well, in whatever way you depict this character, rediscover the saint and the many saints who've announced Christmas to you. Maybe those saints were your grandparents welcoming the whole family home. Maybe those saints who announced and brought delight in the Christian message were Sunday school teachers preparing you for the Christmas play. Maybe those saints were the people in your community and who still today may be baking up a storm, making sure everyone's got a tree. You don't have to put on a red suit necessarily, but some do. We try and bring joy into homes, into nursing homes. I pray for the staff that might have to don this costume for the first time this year to try and bring a smile to faces that are having a hard time smiling. Because it's good to celebrate the coming of the Lord and to be inspired by those who, whether wearing special clothes or doing special tasks, do what it takes to celebrate the coming of the Lord. I hope in whatever way you do that, you bring honor to God 
You bring joy to the lives around you. Because in that messenger we all delight. That messenger that everyone delights in is the one who brings good news, especially in a time of darkness. Bring that good news in whatever way God has equipped you to do it. And God bless you. And if you're hearing it for the first time this year, Merry Christmas.